video, we're gonna talk about ways to look about 10 pounds slimmer when you're getting dressed. Raise your hand if you ate, drank, and were very merry over the holidays and gained 10 pounds. I thought this would be a great time to do this video. I'm filming at the beginning of January, right after the holidays because I have possible jury duty and I have to go out of town. So I thought this would be a great time to talk about ways that we can just look a little bit slimmer in our clothes, maybe hide the extra 10 pounds that we may have gained over the holidays. Now this video is obviously not telling anyone they need to lose weight or that they need to be skinnier or skinny is better or anything like that. Every single one of my videos is to help you find clothes and ways to style cl your clothes so that you feel good about how you look. One more disclaimer, all of the don'ts or the you know uh, outfits of what not to do are not bad and there's nothing wrong with them. All of them are my clothes and I still wear them all, I love them all, but this video is solely focused on the goal of trying to look a little bit slimmer in your clothes. Except for the first outfit, it is definitely a don't. The last tip I have for you though, I feel like is the best one, the absolute best one, and I'm just gonna save it for last because I feel like you need to hear these other ones before you can hear that one. So we're gonna start off with a don't outfit and then we're gonna end with a few don'ts that you can keep in mind when you go shopping. First things first, if your clothes don't fit, meaning they're pulling or pinching or too tight, um, it's, it's not gonna help you look any skinnier. And it's probably actually gonna send the focus straight to those areas that you're not trying to highlight. Now, I got rid of all my clothes that did not make me feel good, did not look good on me, that I just felt uncomfortable in, but I found a pair of low-rise jeans from my early 20s. I don't know how they got stuck in the back of my upstairs closet, but and they were like on the floor it was like not even in a box or anything but anyway luckily i came by those they're skinny they're low rise i would not be caught dead in these today because they make me feel so uncomfortable but they're great for this video so i have these jeans they definitely do not fit they're a size or two too small and i have an old t-shirt that probably needs to go in the garbage but it's one of those fitted tight t-shirts we wore a long time ago this outfit it's too tight it's um it just doesn't look right on me and it doesn't do me any favors i'm using this on myself this outfit may look great on you, but the point is to not wear clothes that are too tight because that's definitely not gonna help you in this arena. And then on the flip side is, you know, if you're wearing something that's super oversized and baggy, hiding everything is not gonna help you look slimmer either. I think a lot of people try to do this where they wear like oversized, really oversized all over their bodies, thinking they can hide behind. And it does hide you, but it also makes you look bigger than you actually are. The best fit on most everybody is gonna be body skimming, something that's not too constricting, but not too oversized. I know I sound like Goldilocks. One way to make yourself look taller and or slimmer is to create long lines through your body. What do I mean by that? Well, there's several ways you can do this. One is the outfit of wearing one color top and bottom, and then your third or outer layer is a different color. You're creating a tall, slim focal point and it's a really great look. You're probably even hiding your belly if that's a, a problem area for you. Now the only thing to keep in mind here is if you're going somewhere where you see yourself removing that outer layer, make sure that your top and bottom layer are something that looks good all on their own. And by the way, I know I have black on in this outfit, but it doesn't have to be black. It could be white underneath and then a black jacket, just as long as the two are about the same color. I'd like to take a moment and tell you about our sponsor for this video and the only thing that I actually did that was actually healthy during the months of November and December um, and it's AG1. AG1 is a daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports your entire body health. It has aptogens and B vitamins to support sustained energy, prebiotics and probiotics, antioxidants and superfoods, functional mushrooms, and a broad spectrum of essential micronutrients and phytonutrients. It helps with stress, it helps with your digestion. It fills in a lot of nutritional gaps that I definitely had during in my diet when I was eating a lot of peanut butter balls for dinner. To me, AG1 tastes light and refreshing. It has a little bit of a fruity undertone without being too sweet. Not only can this one drink replace a lot of the supplements that you probably take already, but they actually take pride in getting the purest sources for all of these vitamins and minerals and probiotics and prebiotics that you can find. I've been making my gut health and my physical fitness a priority in my life, and AG1 has been an important part of supporting me in both of those areas. I've really been impressed by how much my digestion has improved since starting with AG1 
I do have a really great offer for you. If you order AG1, they will give you a free year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. I gotta say, I also love these travel packs. I take them with me everywhere I go. I hand them out to friends. I'm like, try this, this is amazing. So follow my link below in the description box to get started on your first month and let's continue. Another way to look taller and or slimmer is to wear a maxi or long length pant or dress. So examples I have here are when I wear a maxi dress, you have the line is going all the way from my neck all the way to my ankles. And then whenever I wear a midi dress, the line stops at about my about my calf. And so, so if my goal was to look taller, I would definitely choose the maxi length. Same thing goes with your jeans. If you get ankle length jeans, which I love ankle length jeans, but if my goal is to look taller, I'm gonna to wanna to wear the jeans that go all the way down to the bottom of my boot. You don't want your eye to just stop abruptly at your ankles. One item that I think always makes women look taller and slimmer in that, you know, shave off 10 pounds kind of thing are high-waisted wide leg jeans or high-waisted wide leg pants. This immediately gives the illusion of longer legs. And since it's a wider leg, you, whenever it goes up, it kind of goes in to go to your waist. So your waist is seems smaller than the rest of your body. Whereas if you look at skinny jeans, you've got your little ankles down here. And then of course the jeans gonna go like this and then you just kind of like get wider as you go up. Skinny jeans don't actually make most people look skinny. <laughs> now I know not everybody can wear high-waisted pants and so if that is not your thing or you're not able to wear those and you don't feel good in them, then just skip over this one. Another way to look slimmer in your clothes is to create new focal points. Be intentional about where you want people to look. So for instance, your neck, your shoulders, your wrist, your ears, and the way that you draw attention to these areas is they have to be bare, naked, just your neck or your, or your wrist, and then have jewelry or something on them to bring the focal point to your neck or your wrist or your ears or your face. In terms of a neckline, a V-neck is going to do this much better than a crew neck or a high neck. A V-neck is going to A, have a line that's going to be pointing down, so you're already going you know, top to bottom, and then you're exposing this and up to your face, so the eye is drawn up here and then up to your face as opposed to down to your midsection, which is probably the area that most of us are trying to hide. This is also great if you have a larger bust. A crew neck actually makes you look a little bit more busty, whereas a V-neck will help minimize a larger bust. Other tops that work really well here are tops that show your shoulders like a one shoulder top or some kind of high neck halter top or an off shoulder top or a strapless top something that brings the attention here or your neck I have not heard a single woman in my lifetime say I really wish I could lose weight in my shoulders <laughs> cold shoulder tops are just they just are a little bit out of style and I wouldn't recommend now if you'll notice when you're out and about and you see a woman who's exposing her shoulders or she has like an off shoulder dress or something your eye immediately goes to her shoulders and you're like oh she looks so pretty and you're not even looking at this bottom half you're just basically you're focused all up here it works people I'm telling you there's something about our eyes we want to see like the skin not only that but if you're someone who just absolutely does not feel comfortable tucking in your shirt or even doing a front tuck I think highlighting your shoulders or having a top that does highlight your shoulders or your neck um, is just such a great way to bring the attention up and so even if you have your top and it's just kind of like hanging loose around your midsection. It brings all the attention up here and nobody's really focused on this area. Color is a great tool to use when you are trying to hide certain parts of your body. For myself, my 10 pounds or any weight that I gain, I gain it from my butt to my face. And it just kind of, it just weirdly spreads out through those areas. My butt gets longer, which is really strange. I don't understand how that's even possible. But anyway, that's what happens to me. But some people, they gain it all in their thighs or their calves or their legs or something. So if there's one half of your body or one part of your body that you're like, oh, I'd rather not highlight that part, wear a dark color over that part and then wear a lighter color on the other part. So for instance, if I didn't want people to focus on my upper half, I could wear a dark color top and a light color bottom. The eye immediately gets drawn to my white jeans as opposed to my dark top. Or on the flip side, if I was not trying to highlight my legs, I could wear dark jeans on the bottom and wear a lighter colored sweater up top. Now, I actually really love both of these outfits and the top is loose fit enough for me that I still feel really good in it. So I'll be wearing both of them, but just keep that in mind that 
darker colors are going to drive attention away and lighter colors are going to bring attention to it. Now along the same lines with color, another great outfit to put together when you just feel like you're 10 pounds heavier and you don't really want to focus on the thing, the weight that you've gained or anything is to wear, and I, I feel like I say this in every single video, I'm sorry, it just, but it just always works, is to wear monochrome. And I'm not just talking about wearing all black or all navy. You could wear all white. If it's all around the same color, like white and beige or you know tan and taupe or something, it spreads out the attention through your whole body and then you add some jewelry on your wrist and your neck and the attention is kind of spread out throughout and plus, of course, like we talked about, your outfit fits you well where it doesn't make you feel like it's pulling or pinching or anything uncomfortable and so it's going to look really good. You're probably gonna get compliments more so than anyone thinking in their head like, mm, I think she's got a belly under there. It's more like, dang, I like your outfit. Now to go along with that, to look taller, if you make your pants and your shoes to be about the same color, you are creating that long line from your waist all the way down to your toes, as opposed to where I have my pants be a completely different color than my boots, you have the line going from my waist to about my ankles. So I wanted to mention a few items that are probably not gonna help you in this department. They're going to have the opposite effect, and it's just to keep in mind when you go shopping. So when you go shopping, if you're gonna buy a print, just remember that the big florals, the, anything with a really big print is just going to make you look larger and it's definitely gonna cause all the attention to come right to that area. If you're gonna do a print, I would go for a smaller print, like a smaller floral, rather than something really big and loud. Another thing to look out for, especially with some of these really cheaper quality fabrics, is a lot of them are like these thinner, slinkier, um, jersey type fabrics, and they're not even high quality jersey, but they're just pretty thin, and they do not help anybody camouflage anything. If you're self-conscious about any lumps going on in your body, like, you know, I am always up here, then you're gonna wanna choose a heavier fabric, like a woven or even a heavier jersey fabric. Even if it is a stretchy fabric, it needs to be a little bit more thick, um, but anything that's more thick and doesn't just cling to your body is going to help you camouflage those areas. Now you don't have to completely stay away from thin fabrics, like silk and satins are wonderful, but just make sure that they're not like fitted to your body. Make sure that they're more billowy or loose fit um, so they're not clinging to you. With your shoes, if you can do it, pointy toes are always going to help make you appear taller and slimmer. Not everybody likes pointy toes. I will link some of the ones that I like that I have found that actually are comfortable for me. But um, if you can do pointy toes or even an almond toe or a square toe is going to help give that longer line look than a round toe. And of course, shapewear is always great as well. So I don't you know, love wearing shapewear all the time, only with certain things. Um, but I did order these Spanx pants that if they're here before this video post, I will link them and I'll show, what, show you what they look like. But I'm actually really excited about those. I actually don't have any strong recommendations for shapewear, but if anyone does, please link them or comment them below in the comments. Now, one of the really important takeaways here, and I kind of wanted to save this for last, but for me personally, whenever I have gained a little bit of weight and I'm a little heavier than I like to be, I just tend to wear a bunch of stretchy pants. I don't even wanna to go to certain clothes because I just know that they're gonna be tight on me. I'm not gonna wear that look and feel, so I'll wear like the most frumpy, um, stretchy, sweatpant type stuff thinking, oh, well, I'll look better when I lose weight. There's two problems here. One, it really doesn't help me feel good about myself. I just feel even more like a frump. I think actually if you're trying to look 10 pounds slimmer, um, wearing those frumpy clothes, and this is, this is totally me here, so I'm talking, this is me and my past self, it just, it actually does the opposite of that. Do you know what I mean? I think a lot of us only buy clothes when we have lost that 10 pounds and we like are like, oh my God, I lost so much weight because I didn't eat anything last week and then we buy clothes. And then when we start eating like normal again, um, they don't fit anymore. So I would definitely advise trying to go find some clothes or buy some clothes that fit you right now in the body that you have, but are still gonna look good when you lose those 10 pounds or you know whatever weight you are. And if you are trying to look 10 pounds slimmer or you wanna look better in your clothes, the best way to do this is to just level up your appearance. Get dressed up, not like ball gown, get dressed up, but just put on an outfit that looks intentional and that you feel good in and that like, 
you know, you like the way you look, put on an outfit that looks a little bit more elevated, like add a blazer or add a belt or add some jewelry, wear that cute sweater, wear the special jewelry or the special bag that you save sometimes. That can A, make you feel really good, but also it just looks good. And if you'll notice when you look at other people, sometimes you can look at women and you're like, God, I love her outfit. You're not even thinking about like, oh, you know, she's actually a larger person than I am or, or anything. You're just probably admiring her cute outfit. When we wear those stretchy, you know, nothing special outfits, then you're allowing yourself to be like, there's really no focal points. There's nothing cute to look at. Now I have several clothes that fit me no matter what, what size I am. Cause you know, sometimes I fluctuate 10 pounds or 10 pounds less or whatever. Um, and I can, I know I can wear those and I feel like I look beautiful and I like the way I look in those clothes. So I hope you liked this video and got some tips from it. Thank you to AG1 for sponsoring this video. I will leave everything you need in the description box below, plus all the clothes that I'm wearing, or most of them anyway. And um, I will see you next time.